M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So I'm just going to show you the inside of this O-Star Jumbo Hotspot. It's, it's, it's different than what you're used to because there is no Raspberry Pi in this. So if we look here, you've got the usual OTG cable and USB power here, or micro USB. But in this case, we have a button. That button is to reset the device by holding it, for, I believe, for 10 seconds. On the end of the device, where you would normally put your SD card, there is no SD card in this. There's another button, and that's to do with firmware. So let's just take the lid off. Now this uses a, the operating system called OSTAR. I find that you have to have this device very close to your Wi-Fi to work, but also if, if it isn't connected via your Wi-Fi yet, so let's just say you're setting it up for the first time on your laptop or computer, you need it close to your computer to fight to read. There is a Wi-Fi coming from this unit. So, and I'm just gonna sh take the lid off. And uh, we've unscrewed the antenna, as you can see. Let's get this off. Okay, and I've already taken the screws off. There are screws that hold it to, to the base. A typical jumbo hat, you know, base. Exactly identical to the, the jumbo hat that you, would, um, that you would normally see. So, okay, so there's the hat, and the actual hat is, again, I could get get a Raspberry Pi now and put it underneath this hat, MMDVM hat, and it would work D-Star, Fusion, everything. See that? It's all here. All the different modes, ETC, usual connections for an OLED screen. Well, there's your OLED. And if you want next year, and all, everything's there. It's a normal hat. So we take the hat off. These are about £65 pound from, from China, basically. If you look at this, this is the USB board that is going to power the MMDVM hat. So I'm looking at it, and there is some text on here. And if we look, on oh, my eyesight is so bad. But it, the interesting one for me is actually where it says Wi-Fi. Because if you look at because the Wi-Fi on this isn't very strong. And I've noticed, if you look here, we've got this large soldered area. And it says 2.4G, so I think that's their antenna. The problem is, it's maybe I'm wrong, but let me know, someone tell me, is that it's too weak. We need it stronger. Now, I've noticed this antenna, this antenna connection here, and that reminds me of when I've repaired iPhones. Is that a Wi-Fi antenna connection? Because if, if it is, I'd like to know. And, if, and also, will it just work if, I, if we connect a Wi-Fi antenna to it? Because they're inexpensive. You can buy them for two, three pounds. Or does it need to be enabled? That's the other thing. Um, to use either this or this uh, and maybe I'm wrong maybe that's not a Wi-Fi antenna so again you can see here it says LED flash so you know, I'm guessing that somehow when you flash you push that I don't know how to upgrade the firmware on these but I would guess you plug in your your cable OTG here and upload the firmware what is this big silver thing Model HLK 76AA, you know, what is that? What does that do? I don't know. Then you've got a chip here. Just so you can see how they've made this. So it says power OTG, you can see that written there. RST WPS. So I know I did read, I think if you push it briefly, I think it turns the Wi-Fi on and off, I think. If you hold it, it resets. Then it definitely says flash here. So someone tell me, give me some information on this device. And I'm going to try this board with Blue DV actually. If I put this board here, with the hat on of course, into the OTG, I wonder if it will then run it, is it like almost like a serial um, USB and run blue DV. I will try that shortly. But otherwise, I thought I'd do this video because I do think it's interesting. Pi Star system. I think the Pi Star system could be good. I think it needs more work. It works quite well on DMR, but I can't get TGIF in there. Uh, it works well. On, I found it worked well on C4 FM, but on D Star, although I can get it to connect, and the odd station comes through. It doesn't flow, it's not, you're not flowing with contacts. Where on the other O-Star hotspot I've got, that one did flow with contacts and work fine. And that, that one is the white one with the nice color screen. 
So any feedback would be appreciated. Bye for now. Catch you on air. And MMDVM hats. You can never have too many of these. They're inexpensive. You can connect them to a serial adapter. I've got one here. Four pound. And you're on the Blue DV system. Or you just buy yourself an old Pi Zero or an old Raspberry Pi 3 or even two. And, and they just work. Um, you don't need the OLED, but you may as well have it. Bye for now. Thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on air. All the best.